getting all my notes together. I'm not gonna go off on tangents tonight, I promise. I'm just gonna talk and try to get it all out. No stories tonight. I love seeing all the current tribe members on here, along with new tribe members. All right, so we're gonna get started. It is 8 p.m. and I'm starting on the dot because I'm getting off exactly at 8.30. Um, welcome everybody. You guys have all been to the welcome meeting, so we're not gonna go into any of that. Today's meeting, the focus is macros, tracking macros, how you track macros, um, and where you start with tracking macros. So everybody already has in their personal profiles in my app, um, your numbers, your personal customized macros numbers, your proteins, your carbs, your fats. You also receive the Shred Tribe Guide, which explains to you what a protein is, what a fat is, and what a carb is. Really quick, we need all three of those in our diets every single day in order to function. Helps with our energy, our hair, our skin, our nails, cellular growth. Helps with our energy, our mood. There's no reason why you should be kicking out any of the necessary macronutrients from your diet. Hence, keto is bad for you. All those diets are bad for you because they eliminate one of those macronutrients that you need every day to survive. Um, when you are tracking your macros, I want you guys to think of a big picture. I want you to plan your day as if you're planning your monthly budget. So when you plan your monthly budget, you have your, let's say, $10,000 in your account. You pay your mortgage, you pay your car payments, you pay your insurance, whatever is left you use for your food shopping, your hair, your skin, your nails, right? You never want to go over your budget for your month because you, you'll go in a deficit in your checking account. Same thing at when you're planning your macros for your day. Start it in the beginning of the day or the night before. You know your total allotment of what you have for your day to eat and bring it down. So add what you normally eat for the day, add what you know you're gonna eat for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, and whatever's left, that's where you can pop in your snacks, your Quest bars, your Built bars, unless those are your staples. So for me, I eat the, pretty much the same thing every single day. So I can fill out my log the night before, everything I know I'm going to eat, and then whatever is left, I fill in the blanks with protein, carbs, or fats, depending on what I need. Um, when you're doing it, if you go by the seat of your pants, you are never, ever going to master tracking macros. If you don't think that you can plan ahead Message me afterwards and I will refund you and you are free from tracking macros. Um, it, tracking macros is all about being prepared, planning ahead, being aware, aware of what you're eating, what you can eat, what your body, what your body wants to eat with accordance to what you're allowed to eat as far as numbers. So if you're hungry and you want to eat an apple, but you don't have enough carbs, well, then maybe you can have half of that apple, or maybe you can have a quarter of that apple, um, but you don't want to go over your budget. Because when I calculate your macros and you tell me your activity and what you do for a living, I pretty much calculate it to make sure you have a calorie deficit. Because the only way in the world that it is possible to lose weight is to be at a calorie deficit. Does everybody understand that? So if you track your macros Monday through Friday, Saturday and Sunday, you're like, oh, I do really good Monday through Friday. I'm not gonna worry about tracking Saturday or Sunday. You're not gonna lose weight because you're not gonna be in a calorie deficit. And it's an average. It doesn't matter what you do 
part of the week. You need to be on task the entire seven days of your program for the entire weeks of your program. You can't say, well, I'm only gonna check Monday through Friday, but Saturday and Sunday, I'm gonna enjoy whatever I wanna enjoy. You can do that still tracking. You can still have your alcohol. You can still have whatever you want. And we talked about that in the welcome meeting. So when you are tracking your macros and you're putting it in either Fitbit or Fitbit or MyFitnessPal, whichever one you chose, it's going to sync to your app that's in my app, the numbers that are in my app. You do not need to upgrade to any premium programs with either of those apps because you're only using those apps strictly for logging purposes. I don't care what the numbers say in those apps. It is whatever's in my app are the numbers you're going by. It is just a device or a tool to help you filter into my app, your food. So when I look in under your name, I can see your food. I showed you that in the welcome video. So if you tell me, well, how come in your app is telling me I have 115 proteins, but in my fitness pal or Fitbit, it's telling me I have 130 because you're not using that app. You're using my app for numbers. So you're just logging in and looking at my app to see what your numbers did. Oh, why'd you do that? Carl, you did that intentionally, brought the baby over, the puppy. I knew you were going to bring it over. So cute. Um, baby, meaning a fur baby. Um, so remember that. Don't message me and say, my numbers are not matching. They might not match. Now, if you pay for premium, you can make them match. But that's not the point of those apps. Um, as far as when you're tracking, you have a little bit of leeway with the numbers I gave you. And everybody should write this down, but I'm also going to send this out. These are all type, type notes and I'm gonna put them in the cheat sheet group. Um, but you have 10 gram leeway for proteins and carbs and a four to six gram leeway for fats. That's not 13 leeway, that's not 17 leeway, that's not 25 leeway. It's 10 over, under, or right on point for your proteins and your carbs. It is four to six for your fats. So if you message me and say, I'm ready for you to look at my numbers, I'm good to go. And I see you have that you're over 10 or 11 fats. I'm gonna tell you, we need to cut the fat, literally. Um, if you tell me that you're, you're done eating for the day and you still have 25 carbs to eat, you're going to eat at least 15 of those carbs. I'm going to tell you to eat a rice cake. It, it will help you get to those numbers. But that's why you're going to use me. You remember, I'm coaching you. I am not going to say, Naseem, you're going to eat oatmeal with three eggs and five blueberries every breakfast for the next six weeks. Because if I did that, you would do that for five days, if maybe five days. Well, Naseem would follow those really good instructions. She probably would do it the entire time. And she probably would do it forever if I told her to. But not using Naseem as the example, most people would not do that. That's a diet. I want you to eat what you normally eat, but I'm gonna tell you more than likely you need to eat more. Like for breakfast, if you normally eat one or two eggs, you need to be eating three egg whites and a whole egg. Or if you normally eat four ounces of chicken at lunch, you need to be eating six to eight ounces. Same thing with dinner. Every main meal should be at least a third to a quarter of what your protein allotment is for the day. Otherwise, by the time it comes to this time and you tell me, I don't know what I'm going to do. I have 55 proteins left. I'm be like, oh my gosh, you better go scramble up some eggs. Because I'm not going to tell you you're done eating because you're not. So if you start out early in the morning or whenever you start to eat and start chopping away little by little, chipping at those numbers, and but you use those big amounts of food during lunch, breakfast, and dinner, it'll help you reach your macros numbers. So the number one thing is plan ahead. Prepare for your day. So most people, a lot of people are not big meal preppers. That's fine. You're not today, but I can guarantee you in a couple of weeks, you will be. But if you're not, no big deal. I'm not telling you you have to cook everything in one day, but I want you to think about what you want to eat. If it's morning, like someone messaged me today, this morning, and she's like, I'm ready for you to look at my log. But all I saw in there was three things. 
And I was like, well, what do you, do you know what you're having for lunch and dinner? And she typed it out to me. And I was like, well, put that in your log. Because then I could see exactly what you need to be eating to actually achieve those numbers. Just seeing, you know, um, a 93.7 burger in writing doesn't tell me how many ounces it is or anything like that. So um, please try to fill in your day as much as you can. Um, if you watched my food hack Zoom, which everybody should have it under their profile, under their kettlebell, it's also in the YouTube channel that I have. You'll see food that you should keep in your house, tuna pouches, rice cakes, just things that will help you hit your numbers until you figure out how to eat more. Because until you figure out how to bulk up your meals, you're gonna be doing a lot of piecemealing to hit your numbers. Like I'm gonna see Crest Chips, Crest Bar, Protein Jake, like all these snacks, because that's what's gonna help you achieve your numbers in the beginning. By the time in about two weeks, it's not gonna be like that. Raise your hand if you are a current tribe member, that continuing on, you're all current tribe members. If you're a continuing on tribe member, and when you started, you never thought you were gonna be able to track macros, you never thought that you were gonna like tracking macros, and you were overwhelmed the first week. Do you guys see all those hands going up? There's 50 people on the Zoom, but do you guys see all the hands going up? All right, now, same people, raise your hand if you look in the refrigerator and you see macros, not food. Right, it becomes second nature. It becomes so much easier. You, and even like Mike, who doesn't track macros, we will be at the store and he'll turn around and look at something and be like, oh my God, do you see the proteins, the carbs and the fat per serving? Like it's not about the food anymore. It's about survival, but enjoying what you like to eat, but knowing how much of it you can eat. What I do is I look at the thing and I look at the serving size. What Mike does is he looks at the entire thing. Can he have that entire thing? All those macros, will it fit? But I look to see, okay, well, serving size is a quarter of a cup. Awesome. I know I could have a quarter of a cup. Everybody's different and you guys can look at it however you want. So number one, plan ahead. Number two, bulk up your main meals, six to eight ounces of protein every meal. Number three, watch that food hack video. You want to have healthy food in your kitchen, in your pantry, in your refrigerator. Have grab and go options. So I take Cheerios, you'll see it in the video. Count out your Cheerios, put them in a baggie. Count out your, are you laughing Carl because I said that? Or does Ginny actually count out her Cheerios? I know you guys are Cheerio freaks. Coach Darby told me that you guys are Cheerio freaks. I did hear that. Um, Cheerios are a great way to hit your macros for your carbs. If you're, if you're not a type of person that, if you have an adversity to carbs, because for so long we've heard no carbs, carbs, carbs are bad for you. Carbs are good for you. I love carbs. Um, I eat over 240 grams of carbs a day. I weigh 244 pounds. Carbs are not bad for you. On a good day, I weigh 143. Um, did I say 243? Sorry, 143. <laughs> My bad. One time I did weigh 243. Um, but carbs are not bad for you. So anyway, um, another way to, to grab and go is I talked about Publix in my food video, which I'm not going to keep bringing. I'm not going to tell you what's in the food video. I want you guys to watch it because there's a lot of good food hacks. Um, Plan one day and you can copy and paste it going forward and then make little changes to it. So like I, and I'm gonna put this out there and I know everybody's like whatever, but I'm a creature of habit. So I'm not a fan of Fitbit. I love my fitness pal. I have no problem with it not sinking every time I add something. I have no problem trying to get it to sink at the end of the night and force it. And I like to be able to copy and paste my different meals, different items. So I went back to my fitness pal. You guys can do whatever you want to do, but just don't come to me and say, my fitness pal is not working hundred percent. It will work. It's just slower. Um, I got three messages today actually saying that there's all of a sudden is working like a champ. So totally up to you, which way you go. Um, I want you to remember that fruit has a lot of carbs. So if you need to have fruit in your body, because a lot of people crave fruit, go with berries, blueberries, blackberries, raspberries, strawberries, because melons, bananas, 
Pineapple, all have a ton of sugar. Sugar is carbs. We don't have to count sugars because we count carbs. So if you're a person that likes to eat a half a, um, half a honeydew or a cantaloupe with cottage cheese in the morning, watch that sugar intake because you might take away a lot of your carbs with that breakfast. Just, you can have it, absolutely. But think about what you're doing. Do you really want all that? A banana, when I get this all the time when people are starting, well, I always have a smoothie when I start my day and I put peanut butter in it and I put a protein shake in it and I put a full banana in it. That full banana is probably 40 to 50 carbs. If you're okay with that, because you know you're not gonna get more carbs as many carbs in throughout the day, then go for it. If you need that bulk of carbs in the morning, you can have it. But if you know you like to have carbs at lunch and dinner and you want a built bar and you wanna have rice cakes, then you better watch those carbs. Um, you guys know you have to drink half your body weight in water. That is a non-negotiable. 10K steps, totally negotiable. Half your body weight in water is an absolute because that's what's gonna help you with your weight loss. That is what's going to help you with your hair, your skin, your nails. Super important. Um, if you have time to meal prep, I like to meal prep Sundays and Mondays. I will take 18 eggs, put them in the water, hard boil them, cut them, take out the yolk right away. I don't want fats in my eggs because I want to eat my fats. I like cottage cheese. I like yogurt and I like cheese. I'm not an avocado fan. So I don't think about that stuff, but I don't want the yolk in my egg. I'd rather just eat the four egg whites, hard boiled with salsa or hot sauce or mustard in my big bowl. Did you guys see my broccoli that I ate today for my snack? Cause I was starving. I posted it in the, I think the recipe group or something. That's my go-to. I have like 12 bags of that broccoli in my refrigerator. Yes, it will hurt your stomach in the beginning, but if you take Fino and you'll eventually get used to it, I promise. Um, so weighing yourself every day could be a negative to your, your, your senses. A lot of people need to weigh themselves every day. That's fine. But know that your body fluctuates 24 to 48 hours, your weight up to two to four pounds. But if you're the type of person that needs to weigh themselves every day, that's fine. Just don't put it in the app because it'll drive me insane. You want to keep your own little record in an Excel spreadsheet of your weight loss or your weigh-ins, that's fine. If you do that and you're not losing weight, you'll start to see a pattern of, oh, wow, Fridays, I'm down three pounds. Monday, I'm back up two pounds. What the hell is going on? Happens all the time. I, if I start to see that pattern, I will ask you to weigh in every Friday and Monday. Because I've already told you, although I say I'm not a babysitter or a micromanager, I totally am. I want you guys to be successful. And if I think that you're sabotaging yourselves on the weekends, I'm gonna cut that cord really quick. And you're not gonna be able to do that because I'll hold you accountable. Um, avocado, salmon, sea bass are high fatty foods. I get it, they have great omegas, blah, 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 blah. They're awesome for your, your system, but they're not good for weight loss. They are very fatty. So if you message me and tell me you had sea bass and you don't know why you gained weight, it's because it's a fatty fish. Salmon's great once a week. Don't make it a staple every day. Um, when you are doing alcohol, this is usually a question right off the bat. Alcohol does not have protein. Write that down, remember it, keep it in your head. I don't care what the bottle says. Mike came home with these blue glass bottle, platinum, special Bud Light Ultra, platinum, whatever. He's like, it says there's protein. I'm like, it's lying to you. There's no protein in alcohol. It's either a carb, a fat, or both. So even if you get a white claw or a truly or any of those things that screw with your head, you're going to take the calories, you're going to divide it by seven. Whatever that number is, you decide if you want it to be carbs or fats or both. And that's how you log it. Alcohol is nothing but carbs and fats. You can have it as long as you account for it. Raise your hand. Does everybody understand that? Don't message me and say you scan the truly. And that's what you're going with. Or you had a white claw 
because you wanted to watch what you were drinking. It doesn't matter. You could drink a White Claw, you could drink a glass of wine, or you can drink a Bud. It's all the same because the calories is what counts. Then we divide it and that's how we get our macros. And I'll repeat that a ton of times. Um, Please remember that the apps are technology. Apps are not perfect. And if you message me and you're mean and you're nasty and you're short, I'm gonna give it right back to you. I am here to help you. And if I get a message and I've gotten these all week long this week and I don't know what I did, but I'm getting, your app's not working. What do I have to do? Like, dude, it, first of all, it's technology. I open up audiobooks all the time and it doesn't work. I don't write them a question and be like, dude, your app's not working. Like just mention, be like, hey, there's something up. What's going on? Like I'm a person too. I have feelings. And yes, I'm here. And yes, I'm your coach. And yes, this is my business. But treat me the way you want me to treat you. Right? We all have shitty days. I get it. And we're all, we all don't wake up as perky and happy as I do. Because um, I'm always happy. But be nice. I get it. It's frustrating. We all have frustrations with the app, with workouts, with the Apple Watch, all that stuff. And Jennifer, raise your hand. Jennifer is going to do a Zoom for the Apple Watch and walk you guys through everything so that you could see in case anybody's getting frustrated with that. Because I don't have my iWatch connected and Jen is a pro at it. She shows me at 5 a.m. at Orange Theory. Oh, you could do this and you could do that. I'm like, okay, how about you do a Zoom? And she's happy to do that. So I'm going to get with her and figure out when we can do that. Um, and it's not going to be 30 minutes. I'm sure it could be five to seven minutes, right, Jen? Um, and maybe Jen will just do it with me and we'll record it. And then I'll just post it and not make it live. It's up to you, whatever you want to do, Jen. Um, okay, so let me keep going here because we're almost done. Lisa, they, the, everybody's in the Zoom link group. So the, the link for Sally is right there if you want to let her know. She got on? Okay. Um, Don, I'm totally talking about, oh, sorry, just kidding. That was private. I won't talk about that. All right, let me keep going here. Okay, so um, if you message me at night, I wake up usually around 3.45 every morning which means I go to bed at 10 o'clock at night, which means I will not answer any messages from anyone after 10 o'clock, usually after 9, 930. Cause that's when I brush my teeth, I'm winding down. I do my daily routine, my nightly routine. Um, you don't want me to text you at 4 a.m. Don't text me at 9, 30, 10 o'clock at night. Any messages that go in the app, I'll see in the morning and I'll reply to them, but don't hunt me down at 9, 30, 10 o'clock at night texting me. Because I have to be up at 3.45 and you don't want to text at 3.45 in the morning either. Um, please don't deprive yourselves. You are not on a diet. There's nothing to restrict you. Don't message me and say, I don't know. I want to eat this, but I don't think I should eat it. Or what should I eat? I'm going out for dinner. The first thing I'm going to say is, what do you want to eat? And then we work backwards. So if you are a new Shred Tribe member, you have homework. Because this week is that gimme week. What do they call it? A bye week or something? I don't know what you call it, but it's like a, a week of for, for continuing on tribe members. It's a free week just to keep going. For new tribe members, this is your week of learning, figuring everything out, figuring what food works for you, how to use the app, getting everything situated. So for the next two to three days, you guys should be pre-logging all your food. And when I do that post and say, does anybody want me to look through their food? That's when I should be getting messages. Please check my log. Please check my log because that's how you learn. I look at your log and I give you feedback. And best thing to do is before you eat because if I look at it and I'm like, oh, why don't you take out this, this, and this? And you're like, oh, well, I already ate that three hours ago. I can't take that back. So I'm gonna need for you guys to be as proactive as possible. And I will review your log and give you guys input and coach you on how to get your macros in. But you, what you can do is say, hey, this is my protein comes in fats, what should I eat? One, I don't know what you'd like to eat. Two, I don't know your allergies. Three, I have no idea what's in your house or where you are. So it's totally impossible for me to tell you what to eat. I do not do meal plans. Meal plans get crazy and chaotic and don't get stuck to. But there are sample meal plans in the group that everybody's in, 
1200, 1400, 1600, 1800. One has fast food in it in case you need to go for fast food. And I'm going to add a bunch more for you guys that you can use and get ideas. Um, you will feel overwhelmed this week. I can guarantee it. It's, it's inevitable. You're doing something you don't normally do and use me. I am your tool. I am your coach and I want to help you succeed. My passion is you succeeding. I'm not going to become a millionaire from the Shred Tribe and I have no intentions of it. People, including someone, a bunch of people in the group and my mentor, my business mentor, tell me that it's way too cheap. I need to like double, triple my price and I won't do it because it's not why I do this. I do it for everybody here because you're, you're my reward. You're, you're my, when I see pictures and I post them, I'm like, this is why I do this because it makes you guys feel so good on the inside and out. It's such, so life changing. Um, remember the more you eat, the more you lose. It's been known since the end of time. Um, let me see if I miss anything about tracking. Oh, when you hit your macros, you get a shout out. There's a shout out group. Do you guys see that? Um, Emmy got a shout out, who's new? Um, trying to think of who new people, a bunch of new people got shout outs. I only remember Emmy because she was the last one. But um, if you hit your macros within 20%, of your goal, you get a shout out. That doesn't mean that you hit your numbers because you have to be within 10 of your numbers. I can change it and make it 10%, but everybody freaks out. I've tried it. So I like to see the shout outs. It's motivating, but just because you get the shout out, you still want to be within 10 and 10 and four to six. Raise your hand. Does everybody understand that? Do you guys hear all that dinging? So I'm doing a 5K. One of my good friends, Lewis, is um, gay, and he's doing the Pride Parade run 5K, and I'm I'm cheering it. I'm helping him do it, and so my phone's going crazy. If anybody wants to do it, it's June 13th in Delray Beach. Um, I don't know how to turn that off. Okay. Sometimes the apps are not instantaneous. Macros is a science. It's why it takes me so long to figure out your numbers. And don't message me and say, I can't eat all these carbs. Can we lower it? Because I'm going to tell you no. Unless fitness changes, unless you miraculously lose 20, 10% of your body weight or 20 pounds or whatever, your numbers don't really change. Your life has to change for your lifestyle journey to change. And that's where your macros come in. So you may not always get changes every new challenge if you didn't hit 10% of your body weight or you didn't increase or decrease your fitness. Everybody got that? Awesome. Raise your hand if you are super excited to start this summer shred. Yay, I am too. I'm doing it along with you because I want to lose seven pounds before we go on our um, retreat. Because you guys are going to look all freaking amazing. So I need to make sure I do. Um, if you want information on the retreat, there's that retreat group. I opened up the second house because everybody's messaging me with this freaking awesome. Also, got a bunch of tank top orders. If you guys want tank top, message me privately. Tomorrow night is a regular Wednesday night meeting. Um, I will post the topic once we get off of here. Um, I always do a review. So if somebody says, um, I keep repeating myself, yes. I posted this in the group the other day. Repetition is the key to success also. The more you hear something, the more you get it. You might have missed something the first time I said it. So all those videos, all the Zooms that are in my YouTube channel, they're all for you guys. Watch them. Look at that bicep. Watch them. They will be ingrained in your head. I listen to, I've listened to your bad, badass like eight times. I've listened to go un-F yourself like four times. I, it, the more I listen to it, the more I get out of it. So watch those Zooms. They're awesome. The, the, from this last challenge, all the pre-meetings are in there, like what we're on right now. All right, I'm gonna get off here because I'm gonna go eat dinner. It's eight, almost 8.30 or it is 8.30. I hope you guys all have an amazing night. I will see you tomorrow night, 7 p.m. for our weekly Zoom. Everything is always Eastern time. I never change meeting times when they're posted unless an emergency comes up. I always end the meetings before you guys get off. Remember, always be badass. Have an amazing Tuesday night and I'll see you guys all tomorrow.